Okay, so module seven assignment four, change backgrounds. All right, open up the presentation and perform the following actions. Apply a gradient fill background, all right, to rectangular. Change the gradient type to rectangular and set the direction to from top left corner, okay. Configure the gradient to have the following four gradient stops and apply the custom gradient fill to all slides in the presentation. Change the background of only slide one to the water droplets texture and set the transparency. All right, here we go. Close this out. I'll change backgrounds, okay? Alrighty. So we're gonna come over to design again because we're setting document level stuff. And with this first one, we're gonna come over to format background. All right, what was its specifics again? Apply a gradient fill background. Okay, I'll come and my fill right here. Okay, it's gradient. All right, it said to do on slide one, change the gradient time to rectangular and set, oops. The direction from top left okay so as you'll see when we come down here we have some different types direction angle present gradients so it said rectangular so the type to rectangular and the direction to from top left all right Okay, let's see what the next instruction was. Configure the gradient to have the following four gradient stops. Okay, let me scroll that up. All right, so I'm gonna continue down here and you'll see that, all right, oopsies, I didn't wanna do that. So, gradient stops. Okay, so these different stops here by gradient stops, what it means is you'll you'll see it. It says gradient stops. Again, I don't know how it's gonna look on a Mac. Um, so you're gonna have to do your best or come on in. These are my four gradient stops. So gradient stop one, light green. Okay. I'm gonna find light green, olive green. It's an olive green. Is this light green? That's the light green. Okay. All right. So light green, position five, transparency zero, brightness, position five, oops, yep, position five, okay, transparency zero, brightness negative 10, transparency is already zero, brightness negative 10, okay. And now my second one is white, so I'm going to come over to my second gradient stop. I've selected my second gradient stop. It's highlighted, so I'm on stop two. You can kind of see now, if you scroll over here, what I've changed it to. All right, I'm gonna do, was it white? White. Okay, white. All right, position 45, zero, 90. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in here and manually do these. Okay, all right, we'll go to position three, light blue, 75, zero, zero. Okay, so we'll find our light blue down here. 75 and zero, zero, okay. And then purple, 120, zero, okay. So stop five, there's my purple. Okay, 100, zero, 20, zero, 20, zero. 100 and zero. Okay. By the custom gradient fill to all slides in the presentation, and then we're gonna change slide one back to the water droplets texture. Okay, so to apply for all slides, I'll just come down here and click apply all. Okay, it's now cascaded it through the whole presentation. All right. And now it wants me to change slide one to water droplets texture and set the transparency to 25. Okay. So 
I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to say picture or texture fill because it wants the water droplets. So once I've selected that, I have more options. I'll come down here and click on texture. It's tissue paper here, water droplets. Okay. And it was 40, I believe, that they wanted it to. Let's see, 25. That's what we have it set to. Okay. And set the transparency to 25. All right. Save the file and submit. That's all for this one.